Today we're going to be talking about something that could be the difference between making a thousand dollars a month and making a million dollars a month. Branding is the best way to take a step up as a dropshipper. We're going to be talking about the transition and whether it's right for your store. When you're first starting Shopify dropshipping, many people consider building a brand because it's how they view a successful company. The difference between a brand and a store is that a brand focuses on building a following instead of just immediately getting sales. Usually, brands win in the long term because they're willing to take a loss on the front end. The front end is where a customer sees your company for the first time, like most influencer ads. Brands focus on the back end, which is where customers are pitched to after they already know who you are. This is done through social media posts, email marketing, and much more. Brands focus on the back end and stores focus on the front end. When you're first starting out, I would recommend just starting a store because there's a lot more components that go into building a brand. If you do opt to start a brand, expect to spend more money before you get your first sales. In my opinion, my end game for my store is building a brand. My end game is having so many social media followers and so many people on my email list that I can just throw out a little announcement and make hundreds or thousands of sales without spending any money on advertising. Some people's end games is where they have 10 stable winning products on Facebook that each bring them $10,000 a day. And that's fine, but that probably means you're building a store. Branding is all about your reputation and buying experience. One thing you may want to consider as a brand is U.S. shipping. I always try to look for U.S. suppliers on AliExpress, even if it may be a little more expensive. One thing I'm also looking into is U.S.-based fulfillment warehouses, and basically, that's where you ship a bunch of products to a warehouse, and then whenever you get an order, you tell them where to ship it. They'll charge you a fee to